Good morning students. Today we are going to discuss lesson number one, constitution, why and how. First of all, you must know the meaning of the term constitution. Constitution is a legal document which describes the composition, powers and functions of the various organs of the government. It also describes the rights and duties of the citizens. Now the question is, what is the need of a constitution? The constitution is needed to specify how the government will be constituted. The constitution put limits on the three organs of the government. As you know, the three organs of the government are legislature, executive and judiciary. So that no organ should become absolute. The constitution provides fundamental rights which are important for the development of the personality of the citizens. The constitution safeguards the fundamental rights of the citizens. Next is what is the necessity to have a clear cut demarcation of powers in the constitution. The main reasons are there is a great need to have a clear demarcation of powers among the organs of the government. In the absence of such demarcation responsibility will not be fixed. It also leads to conflict among the organs of the government. Moreover, for the protection of fundamental rights of the citizens, demarcation is necessary. Next, we are going to discuss the necessity to place limitations on the rulers. Constitution limits the powers of the government in many ways. The powers of the government are limited by giving fundamental rights to the citizens. The government cannot violate the fundamental rights of the citizens. In India, fundamental rights are mentioned in the constitution and these fundamental rights are mentioned in the third chapter of the constitution. The Supreme Court protects the fundamental rights of the citizens. On Indian constitution, some critics are asking this question. They are saying that the constitution is 70 years old and therefore outdated book. Moreover, it is written in such a tough language that we cannot understand it. So, why should we obey this constitution? We should obey the constitution of India because Indian constitution is not outdated book. Our constitution was enforced on 26 January 1950. Indian constitution has been amended from time to time. Critics should obey the constitution because Indian constitution has been framed by the constituent assembly on behalf of the people of India. Moreover, 103 amendments have been done in Indian constitution so far. Next topic is objective resolution of 1946. The first session of constituent assembly was held on December 9, 1946. On December 13, 1946, Pandit Nehru moved the objective resolution. Some of the provisions of objective resolution are as India is an independent, sovereign republic. All the powers and authority of sovereign and independent India and its constitution shall flow from the people. Next is all the people of India shall be guaranteed and secured social, economic and political justice, equality of status and opportunity and equality before law and fundamental freedoms like freedom of speech, expression, belief, faith and worship. The minorities backward and tribal areas and other backward classes shall be provided with adequate safeguards. Next we are going to discuss about the constituent assembly. The Indian constitution was made by the constituent assembly which have been elected for undivided India. It held its first sitting on 9 December 1946 and reassembled on 14 August 1947. The Constituent Assembly consisted of 389 members, 296 from the British Indian provinces and 93 from the Indian states. 
out of 296 four members were taken from the chief commissioners provinces the first meeting of the constituent assembly was presided over by an experienced and old member dr sajida nansina in which 210 members participated its members were elected by indirect election by the members of the provincial legislative assemblies the number in the assembly was reduced to 299 after the partition of india although the members of the assembly were not elected by universal adult franchise yet members of all the religions were given representation prominent personalities like dr b r ambedkar pandit nehru dr rajendra prasad sardar patel molana azad etc were the members of the constituent assembly the working of the constitution was conducted in a democratic manner 7632 amendments were tabled by the members of these 2473 were actually moved and discussed the assembly met for two years 11 months and 18 days on 26 november 1949 the constituent assembly adopted the new constitution of india the new constitution came into force on 26 january 1950 students after watching this video now you can easily solve your assignment